Tonight, burials, cremations, and now a new alternative. It was the craziest idea I had ever heard. Human composting in Western Washington. This um, glass of soil used to be a cow, not a human, but um, it's the very same process. Cairo 7 goes in depth on this eco friendly ending. It is called Recompose, the first business of its kind, and it's set to open in Seattle in 2021. The human composting company is taking shape in Soto. Cairo 7's Allison Grandy got a first hand look at the plans. Each person gets their own vessel for one month. That isn't a dead body. Katrina Spade gave us a look at the computer generated images for the first human composting site in the world planned for Seattle. To be able to stack them because we wanted to be able to take advantage of vertical height in our cities. Recompose is scheduled to open in Soto in the spring of 2021. We have a ton of interest. It's really exciting. Spade came up with the idea more than seven years ago. Realizing livestock have been composted by farmers for years. She was looking for an alternative for humans, so she teamed up with the Wazoo Soil Science Department. They used the bodies of six human donors and proved it is safe and effective for humans as well. So this um, glass of soil used to be a cow, not a human, but um, it's the very same process. The law she helped pass goes into effect in May. Now she has a home for Recompose and the building is taking shape. Everybody enters the same way, but it's also the presence of nature. With the help of Seattle design firm Olsen Kundig. And I'll be honest with you, I was shocked. I, I, it was the craziest idea I had ever heard. Olsen Kundig just finished the $100 million remodel of the Space Needle. Creating a new space for human composting is a new kind of first. To make this, this a, a very sort of new and unusual and extraordinary place, and a third option for burial in this state. It didn't take much time for him to be convinced. But the more she talked about what it means and how this can actually transform the sort of burial industry, I literally, in that one conversation, transitioned to two thoughts. One is, this is what I think would be appropriate for myself. But the more I thought about it, I think this would be appropriate for the world. They found an existing warehouse in Soto with a beautiful wood ceiling. Uh, we were blown away by this uh, bow truss, which is this structural piece that has this beautiful curve. I would say it is the perfect city to get started in. Seattle is a place where people are really connected to nature and care a lot about the environment and the impact that their lives make on the environment. And then there's like a little piece of Seattle that's just a tiny bit dark and willing to think about death and mortality more than the rest of the world. The process requires putting a body in a vessel with wood chips, alfalfa, and straw. By introducing oxygen, the composting takes about a month. The building will have space to hold a service and say goodbye. Right now you can imagine just kind of um, walking with your family in and among those trees. Loved ones can decide if they want to come pick up the soil a month later, but it's a lot, a square yard. They can also donate it to a sustainable forest in southwest Washington. And sometimes I'll be talking to a room full of people and they'll say, you need to make a bigger place. You need to make sure that you build two and three places at once because we all want this in this room. And I say, you're not all going to die tomorrow. In Seattle, Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News.